Toys for Bob has already showcased plenty of what's in store for Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, but it's time, I'm so sorry, to reveal one more mode being included in the sequel, and it's time for a Bandicoot battle. IGN can exclusively reveal the Bandicoot battle mode, one of two local multiplayer modes in the game. The battle mode allows two to four players to compete in two events, checkpoint race in which players compete against one another in timed races from one checkpoint to the next, and crate combo, a high score competition to see who can score the most points from a level's crate layout. Both modes can be played with two, three, or four players playing as Crash, Coco, Fake Crash, and in her debut, Fake Coco. So let's take a look at what to expect with each mode. Time trials have long been a staple of the Crash Bandicoot series, and Checkpoint Race turns them into a competitive back and forth marathon. Up to four players will compete for the fastest time across a level, but it's not just about reaching the end of level finish line first. As its name suggests, Checkpoint Race is a series of races to each checkpoint crate in a level. Whoever wins the most checkpoints in a level is the ultimate victor, so if you're really, really bad at one section of the level, you might still have a shot to come out on top. As you race, you'll see a ghost of your past competitors working their way through the level to give you a better idea of how you're faring in the moment. And in staying true to time trials of Crash's past, crates that freeze the clock for a number of seconds, which are labeled on the box, can be smashed to help give you an edge. But if smashing crates with reckless abandon is more your style, crate combo is the mode for you. Again, the mode measures success from one checkpoint to the next, but speed isn't the only goal. You'll want to score the most points by smashing as many crates as possible, because with each successive crate you smash, the point value of each crate goes up, up to 32 points per crate. And while it's a bit surreal to see so high a number on a Crash Bandicoot crate, you'll have to keep your combo up by smashing them as quickly as you can. In the first gameplay, you can see a meter in the lower right-hand corner. If you don't hit any crates before the meter runs out, the point value resets to 1 and you have to begin working back up to a higher point value. Your run ends when either you hit a checkpoint or you meet an early death, so even if you don't make it to the checkpoint, keeping up your combo could be the key to victory. Stars are awarded between each checkpoint in descending order, so like Checkpoint Race, it's possible to have a bad leg or two and still edge out a win. Both of these modes are local competitive play only, and there won't be any online leaderboards. The game will keep track of your progress during a gameplay session, but once you end a session, all of that progress will be wiped, so you'll have to restart fresh the next time you decide to play, probably with new friends who won't be as mad at you that you beat them the last time. Crash Bandicoot 4 will also include a cooperative mode which will allow you and up to three friends to play through any of the levels in Crash Bandicoot 4, either in their normal mode or through the inverted mode, which is essentially the mirror mode of Crash 4. You won't have to wait long to put your Crash competitive skills to the test, because Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time comes to PS4 and Xbox One on October 2nd. For more on the upcoming sequel, check out the latest Quantum Mass gameplay and hear from developers Toys for Bob on what to expect from Crash's flashback levels. And for everything else in the realm of Digital Bandicoots traveling through time, stick, of course, with IGN.